China is home to one of the most ambitious technology ecosystems in the world. And few companies illustrate that scale more than Huawei, a company whose intellectual property now touches thousands of standards, billions of devices, and entire industries. Huawei filed uh, something like 37,000 patents last year. Part of our patents are meant to cover the contributions that we made to standard essential uh, standard setting bodies. Um, everybody can use these standards and uh, we license them, uh, but we license them under uh, very reasonable and non-discriminatory terms. And there are also patents that we, uh, we, we, we file to protect our own products. Th these patents are not for licensing. These are for uh, protecting the company's competitiveness. It's a world where data, training sets, and model architecture matter as much as hardware and algorithms. And increasingly, those innovations show up in Huawei's consumer products. Okay, so we're inside Huawei's flagship store in Beijing, and this is where uh, the end product of so many of its patents end up being applied inside these mobile devices. Uh, in particular, it's really landmark uh, trifold mate XT phone, uh, which is the first commercially available trifold phone in the world and has helped propel Huawei to its number one position in the Chinese market. It is quite expensive. Uh, the cheapest version of this one is $2,800 uh, and yet it is constantly sold out. So uh, obviously people are prepared to pay for the quality. But Huawei's intellectual property doesn't stop at phones. China's electric vehicle industry, the largest and fastest growing in the world, has become a major platform for Huawei's software and systems. OK, it's time to go for a little drive in one of China's uh, famous EVs. This one's made by Ito, beautiful looking machine. Ito is actually one of over 200 manufacturers of EVs in China. and. Uh, they're really good value here. An average uh, EV in China goes for about $28,000 compared to $60,000 in uh, North America. And, you know, just because uh, they're low price doesn't mean that they're low spec. Actually, most Chinese EVs come with a remarkable amount of bits and pieces. One of them uh, actually comes with a drone, uh, and that one costs $28,000. My EV Hummer, which I bought last year, cost four times as much as that car. Does it come with a drone? No. No, it does not. Harmony OS, a unified operating system, connects the entire ecosystem. The interesting thing about Harmony is, as the name suggests, it's not just for cars, it's for all of the devices. So you might find the same Harmony OS uh, on a, uh, a digger at the bottom of a mine or on some sort of transportation system. That's really important, actually, because by doing that, it opens up the opportunity, perhaps, to integrate IT and OT, industrial environments, for the first time on the same OS. But right now, we're just getting to enjoy uh, all of these uh, very high-end and sophisticated features here, which are all packaged into the car. So Huawei doesn't do the car, but it sort of does the car's brain, which is um, obviously a specialist area, but with over 200 EV manufacturers in China, it's also a very lucrative market. Huawei's patent system is built on two pillars, contributions to international standards and high-value protection of internal technologies but the rise of artificial intelligence has forced the company to rethink its approach. AI is pretty different, uh, for example, from uh, telecommunication technologies like 5G. Uh, you know, there is no such standard, uh, so companies would uh, build their own chips, uh, train their own models, and uh, you know, there, there will be algorithms, and algorithms are uh, sometimes abstract ideas. Uh, so the, the competitiveness of AI products many times comes from uh, the, uh, the substance, uh, the, the content or the data. From tens of thousands of patents a year to flagship devices and intelligent vehicles, Huawei's intellectual property strategy is no longer simply administrative. It's a core engine driving the company's future. As Industry 4.0, autonomous systems and artificial intelligence expand, the reach of that IP, already inside billions of devices, is only set to accelerate.